Welcome to another edition of Mastering the Game. As always, I am joined by Master Professional Bob Burns. Bob, how are you doing today? Nice to have you here, Ryan. Today we're talking all about the short game. Of course, that a big part of that is club selection. I have my pitching wedge here, which I tend to hit a little bit long, and I don't necessarily understand why, but you might have a theory behind that. Well, your pitching wedge is probably stronger than what you realize it. This pitching wedge is really a nine iron. Now, most clubs are about four degrees stronger today in the set, which means that your three iron is really a two iron. That's why people have better luck with hybrids. How many people can hit a two iron? Now, when you're picking out a wedge, especially around the green or on an approach, what's the proper way in going about choosing the proper club to use? Well, you could pitch with a sand wedge, but often a sand wedge has a lot of you know, bounce on it. That's the trailing edge. The first sand wedge was designed by, by um, Gene Saracen. In 1939, he won the U.S. Open with a nine iron that he welded weight on the back of the club with. He watched how ducks would land into the pond and noticed how they'd always land with their heels first, toes up. The toes would never go below the surface of the water, so they just kind of bumped along the water. So he got the idea of welding more weight on the back of the club with more bounce so that the club would just kind of skim just below the ball, which made it much easier to extract the ball out of, out of the trap. A lob wedge, which doesn't have nearly as much bounce on it, would be the best type of head to hit. Now, our wedges here, these are handmade forge wedges, are 52, 56, and 60 degrees. Now, a lot of times, we'll take wedges and give them a special grinding. If the club still has a little bit more bounce on it and you want it to pitch with, we can take a lot of that off over here on the belt and then polish that out, and you'll never know that, that we ground on it. We're going to show um, our, our audience um, what the three levels of players should be using for a pitching wedge, uh, a sand wedge, a lob wedge, whether you're an A, B, or C player. One of the toughest shots for people to hit is when they're on the side of the hill. Most people would have their weight on their back foot and would try to scoop up through the ball. When you hit any approach shot, your weight should be on your left side. Try to set up with your stance fairly narrow with your feet together to position your weight more on your left side Try to lean toward the hill. Where your head is is where your weight will be. Be very careful not to take too big a backswing where your weight would move to your right side. Now, all you can do from this situation is to try to take a short swing like this and kind of hit down and into the hill. You're not going to follow through too much with this type of shot. So just hit down on it like that to pop the ball up. And that's how you'd hit it. Bob, some great advice from an angle that I know a lot of people struggle from, but you're going to be talking about in next week's edition of an area that isn't easy to hit out of either. No, we're going to work in the sand. It's very much like hitting a pitch shot, but we're really hitting the sand before the ball. You know, a lot of people have tough, tough time. They skull it out of the sand, hit it over the trap, and we'll show you how easy that we can uh, make that for you. It should be a great addition. So we'll see you next week on Mastering the Game.